Let's create and animate a simple or open graphic using Adobe Fresco, perfect for your small business. First I've opened Fresco and selected the 4x5 canvas size. This is just 1080 by 1350 pixels. To sketch the design, I'll turn on the symmetry tool and use a pixel pencil brush. This makes it easy to draw a balanced and creative or open sign just like the one you'd see in a store. To start, I'm sketching a simple sign, adding those strings at the top for that classic store sign look and centering it on the canvas. Next, I'll turn off the symmetry tool and enable the grid to keep everything aligned as I work, especially when I'm hand lettering. So I created a new layer and on this layer, I'm freehanding the bold bubbly lettering for the where open text and I'm sketching we are on one line and then the open text on another line, focusing on keeping the letters playful and bold. The reason why I'm making my letters really big and bold is because I'm going to be posting this on social media. So specifically, if somebody's scrolling on Instagram, I want to grab their attention with some bold, big text. So once that's complete, I'll move on to a new layer and add the cursive text for a yes. And that's going to be at the top and then I'll add some fun details like sparkles and a smiley face in the corner. Now remember in Fresco, if you draw an ellipse and hold down, it'll make a perfect circle for you. Now after I'm done sketching my we're open sign, I'll group all of the layers and I'll center them on the canvas and then I'll lower the opacity. Now it's time to trace with vector brushes for clean, smooth lines. Feel free to select different types of brushes. You can use pixel, live, or vector. I just chose to work with vector brushes this time. Starting with the yes text, I'm using a vector brush and then I'll move on to the where open text, tracing each letter very carefully. Before working on the letters, I'll actually focus on the sign since it's the background while the text will be in the foreground. For the sign itself, I'll turn the symmetry tool back on to ensure everything looks clean and balanced. And again, I'm using a basic round brush. I'll trace the sign outline and the strings. Next, I'll switch to a smaller brush size to trace the letters, ensuring that the lines are smooth and consistent. Now, if you recall from my previous videos, I recommended checking out the symmetry tool when you are creating letters. It's a fun little tip that I have. Again, feel free to do that if you want. I actually just wanted to go with the more handwritten feel so I'm just freehanding all of these letters. Keep in mind though that the smoothing on this brush is set to pretty high so that's why you're seeing like all of my strokes look very straight, almost no bumpiness at all. So all my letters are complete. The next thing I'll do is add the finishing touches like the smiley face and the sparkles. For the smiley face, I actually decided to include a color because I wanted to make sure I stick to some of my color palette options like the color pink. And then I just went in and completed the eyes and the mouth for the smiley face. So the face is done and then I'll finalize everything by doing the little sparkles. And once everything's traced, now we just have to add color. So feel free to choose whatever colors work for you and your brand. I am iterating on colors. There's certain colors I like to stick to like pinks and oranges, but I felt like it was getting lost. So I made my background blue. I also duplicated my happy face and I also added an extra element on the bottom. I feel like this extra bit of text really brings it all together. And lastly, I had to do one more thing, which was update these sparkles. I'm actually using the symmetry tool. I want them to be a little bit more bold and stand out more and also more symmetrical. So I'm using the symmetry tool to fix these. Okay guys, now it's time to animate. We're gonna click on the motion button on the bottom right hand corner. And then in the middle of our screen, we'll select path. Then we'll see all of these animation motion presets. So when you open this up, you're gonna see a bob preset, a breathe, a sparkle, a bouncy preset, spin, sway, flicker preset as well, a jitter preset, and then you can also select custom and just customize it to however you want it to look. I actually had to combine the we are open text and the sign so that I could apply the motion to all together. So for the we're open text, I'm using the sway preset so everything moves together. And then also with advanced settings in the motion panel, that allows you to fine tune details like how the object moves within your animation. So I actually adjusted the angle for the we're open sway. Now for my happy face, I'm thinking of doing maybe a simple spin animation. And again, just selecting the preset and it's done, ready to go. And I move on to the rest of my layers, adding whatever motion presets I want for that specific layer. For the yes, I think I'll just go with the breathe motion presets, very simple, subtle. And then for the second happy face, maybe I'll just do a sway for this one. And then lastly for my sparkle, I think I'm gonna select the sparkle preset 
And within this, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust some advanced settings, like the number of times it's occurring, remove the fade in, fade out, and adjust the percentage. So I went ahead and did this for all of my sparkles. And once that's done, all you have to do is click on play all at the very bottom and you can see your animation come to life. Now all we have to do is export our design. We can click on the share button at the top right corner, select publish and export, and then select motion on the left side. We can also select how many times the animation loops. This time I selected seven and then we click on generate frames. Once it's ready, you can click on play and that's how it looks. Our animation is ready to go. So now all I have to do is send it to my phone and then we can share it to my Instagram. And that's it, your animated where open graphic is ready to post. With Adobe Fresco, you can create designs that stand out and engage your audience. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe and stay tuned for more creative tips.